those that don't have closed captioning, what is up everybody? My name is Pilarius, and today we are playing another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. As always, we will get our first free gotcha box of the day. See if we can get that good old power recover. Since that seems to be the most useful present out there. And look at that. Regular old power recover. And without further ado, let's get right into the story. Oh yeah, we are starting Season 5, Chapter 4, Taken. Yawn. <laughs> I'm walking down the school hallway, yawning drowsily. Sure, I'm sleepy today. There have been times when I have stayed up at night doing work, leading to rough days of deprived sleep. But I passed out pretty much as soon as I went home yesterday. There's no reason I should be sleep deprived. I must have been really tired yesterday too, considering the way I passed out on the way home. I know swimming lessons are rough and all, but I don't think they were that tiring. I muttered to myself and yawned again. Maybe ninja work would tire me out, but classes? Nah. My tiredness made it so that I barely got to homeroom before the bell. Mmm, yawn. <laughs> I feel ready to nod off during class. Huh? As I'm walking, I see Akari and Enju talking together, frowning. They look so serious. Is something going on? I might as well ask. Is something going on? <laughs> Good morning. Something wrong, girls? Good morning, P. Actually... P, it's awful. Tenge-san got assaulted by someone. What? What? <laughs> Did she get groped by a pervert? Assaulted how? Did she get groped by a pervert? Ow! <laughs> Don't punch me. We're trying to be serious here. Could you please not make light of it? Look, I was just asking for some clarification. Tenge wouldn't let a random groper get, to get the better of her, and you know it. Then who was it? Well, okay, can I just get to the story, please? We've been waiting for you to tell you just that. By talking about it here would draw attention. You've got time before homeroom, so come with us. We'll give the full story. On the roof. Uh, sure. I nod and follow after Enju. What could have happened to Tenge? Hey, it's the roof. Angie leads us to the school rooftop. <laughs> it feels like whenever we come up here, it's to talk about something serious. I know, right? So, I address Enju again. What's this about? What's this assault about? Was it a ninja? We will never know. That dress is okay. What? Now it's time to start Season 5, Chapter 4. <laughs> Chapter 4, Part 2 of 10. We don't know. Last night, while Tenge was out for on night patrol, she got attacked by someone and injured. Injured? She couldn't see their face? Maybe she did, but she's not being clear about it. She says she doesn't remember what happened at all, even though she got injured. She doesn't remember? She said that all she knew was that she woke up on the floor in the hall, and she was injured. Her ninja garb was cut by something, possibly a blade, and her own kunai were on the floor. It was clear that the battle had taken place, but Tenge didn't remember a single bit of what had happened. That's strange. Why does this sound familiar to me? What, waking up collapsed on the ground and injured? Oh! Actually... 
on my way home yesterday, I had collapsed at some point on my way home without realizing it, and my upper arm was cut by something sharp. Something wrong, P? Would you believe something similar happened to me yesterday? Wait, what? You got attacked by someone, P? I, I don't remember. My memories of yesterday afternoon are a complete blank, and it hadn't even occurred to me to question it before now. But if Tenge got attacked by someone yesterday, then there has to be more to it. This is getting very fishy, P. Any thoughts? Hmm. Let's talk to Tenge-san and let her get her side of the, this first before we do anything else. She looks fine. <laughs> what the hell? Goodness. Now I've got P visiting me. Tenge greets us with a smile from her spot on a bed in the school infirmary. Akari runs over to Tenge's bed. Tenge said, Are you okay? Easy there. I'm fine, darling. That cut was nothing major. I'm just feeling a little tired. I can see the fatigue in her expression, but it doesn't look like anything to worry about. I'm glad to know you're okay. So, you've got something to ask me, right? Yeah, I want to hear about yesterday. I'm sure you do. Sorry, though. Like Enju probably told you, I don't remember anything. Heck, I've got no idea if I was even really attacked. Now it's time to start Season 5, Chapter 4, Part 3 of 10. The same thing happened to me. You too, huh? Yeah, happening to one person, we could write it off as a random quirk. But two people getting injured and losing all memory of it on the same day is pretty strange, don't you think? You've got a point there. Maybe there really is some new ninja attacking us. Or maybe it's the former owner's secretary. Wink wink. Or some minion of theirs. Pete, Enju, Akari, could you report to the principal about this? Maybe someone with a longer track record and more connections in the ninja world might know what's happening. You might be onto something here, there, somewhere. If it really was an attack, that means Tenge was attacked on school property. We were attacked by the secretary before. We need to keep an eye out for anything even slightly amiss. Let's go, P. Coming. Wait up. I'm coming too. I open the door to the infirmary. Then I glance back at Tenge. Take care of yourself, Tenge-san. Ah, thanks. You're a real sweetheart, P. Just be careful. If this is a strange art we're up against, it's got to be a dangerous opponent. More dangerous than anyone we've found before. Don't worry. They won't get to drop on me again. Okay, then. Maybe I've got nothing to worry about with the legendary ninja on the case. Stop. You're embarrassing me. We'll avenge what happened to you. Don't worry. Coming in, Enju, Akari, and I step into the principal's office. The principal is inside. For some reason, so is the hag, sitting on a couch eating candy. <laughs> what? What brings all of you here together? Hmm? What are all you kids doing? Isn't it time for class? What about you? I thought you were supposed to be a student. I wasn't expecting the hag to be here. She's got a lot of free time on her hands. I can tell. This works out nicely, though. We have to report to the principal. You should probably hear this, too. Is this how you treat your master, lad? I don't appreciate being second here. The principal speaks up as the hag fumes. Very well, let's hear it. It's like this. Now, so it's our season 5, chapter 4, part 4, 10. I go over what happened to me yesterday afternoon, and what happened to Tenge last night. What bugs me is that we both got injured, and we both have zero memory of it. If this is a case of both of us spacing out, that's fine. But what if it isn't? What if it's not? So you think it could have been an enemy attack? What do you think, Master? You're asking me? I can't think of any ninjutsu for erasing someone's memory right on the spot. 
I was hoping maybe you knew something I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the student council had murmurs while munching on candy. If it involves memories being erased, it could be the Crescent Moon Fan. <gasps> the Crescent Moon Fan? What's that? It's a weapon told of in old village legends. They say when you see the shine of the dark moon, the fan traces, you have undesirable memories stolen from you. Stolen? As in, you don't lose them? Someone steals them? That's what the legend says. Please, tell me more. Look, I haven't much else for you, lad. It's merely an old village tale, which I'm not familiar of. All I know is that the legend I just told you. So that fan stole our memories? It could have. It's what I want to say. It's not the kind of thing any random ninja off the street could use. But if someone was chosen by the fan, they could steal memories at will. I thought it was an offering to the village shrine, however. I wonder who could have taken it. Yeah, it's possible. If our memories were erased by the power of this fan, then we should be able to get to the bottom of this by looking into the truth behind the fan. Hag, could you tell us about the shrine where the fan was kept? Where is it? The shrine location? Hmm. The hag frowns. <laughs> How convenient. You can't just cop out after that. It happened here decades ago. Are you okay? You're not getting senile, are you? <laughs> I am fit as a fiddle. Then tell us. Hold on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Where was it? It was near a mountain, a lake. No, wait, that's a vacation I went to went on 20 years ago. This is getting us nowhere. Pete, we might miss our first period, not just homeroom. Now it's time to start season five, chapter four, part five of 10. Maybe we should just get back. Good call. Hold on. What's your hurry? I thought you wanted more info on the Crescent Moon fan. I thought you'd forgotten about it. Let's see. Ah, I've got it. I'll share a saying about the fan. A saying? Yes, a song about the Crescent Moon fan. <laughs> so many memories. Forgettable memories. Oh, Crescent Moon, won't you remember them for me? So many memories. All of my memories. Crescent Moon, keep them here. Nice and safe for me. That's it. It's like Mother Goose. <laughs> Akari murmurs as the hag finishes her rhyme. What's Mother Goose? It's a kind of old British poem for children. I think it's called a nursery rhyme. You know, like London Bridges or Humpty Dumpty. We have similar songs here, like Kangomi, Kangomi, or Hana Ichi Mon Me. And some of them are kind of disturbing. That goes for every country song, really. Ah, I get you. So, Hag, does this song mean anything? Hmm, it might, it might not. That's for you lot to find out. So you don't remember. <laughs> You're getting senile. <laughs> I am not. I'm fit as a darn fiddle. Sure, whatever you say. It looks like the hag's memory is not going to be of any help. At today's club meeting, Tenge and I stand in front of everyone else with Enju explaining things. The head of student council has been showing up a lot lately, but for once, today she's nowhere to be seen. Everyone else is present, so Enju goes over the morning's discussion with them. So it's possible that the rest of you might be in danger. Oh gosh! That's ever so scary. Got the drop on you, P. Apparently, yeah. What bugs me is that I don't remember it. P and Tenge are two of the best ninjas in the whole club, and this person's handily beating them both. They're dangerous. Miyu and Akari, you need to be extra careful. You're both still on training. I'm so sorry, I can't be of any help. If only I knew how they sounded. I'd be able to keep a better eye out. Now it's time to challenge a checkpoint. 
and we're out of story tickets. And we have just enough soul. Check me. And all we get is an orange box. But I do love oranges. <laughs> Alright, now that we passed the checkpoint, let's finish this episode with some ninja fighting. And let's see if we can use some items to increase our stats. And let's use some ice juice, thunder juice, and that'll do it. <laughs> and let's go for class A1. There we go. That gets us a perfect. Let's skip that one. Let's go for it. Hopefully high level, low stats. Hey, look at that. That's good enough for me. Victory indeed. Let's skip that one. Let's skip that one. Let's go for that one. Low level, low stats. Indeed. That's a win. Three wins in a row. Let's skip that one. Definitely skip that one. Ooh. One more skip. Let's try to get... There we go. Hopefully, looks good to me. Hey, look at that. Victory. Ooh, let's do some power recover. Because that is a low level. Hopefully, low stats. There we go. Not a perfect, but a victory will do. Five wins in a row. Hey, there's another one. That's another just victory. Good enough for me though. Six wins in a row. Let's skip that one. Tempting, but let's skip that one. Gotta get a lower class in us. That always helps. Yeah, definitely skip that one. Uh, I guess that'll work. Hopefully. Possibly. That, 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 that's a victory! 304 Thunder, jeez. Let's skip that one. There we go. Nice costume, though. But a victory for us. Is that... Oh, that's only eight wins in a row. Ooh, let's keep going. Hopefully another win. Ooh, that looks good to me. Thank you for the Zero Ninjutsu. Ooh, let's skip that one. There we go. Actually, I think that was Zero Ice, not Ninjutsu. Hey, there's a perfect victory. Ten wins in a row. Double digits. I don't think we've been here in a while. That's not... Let's go for that one, possibly. Let's keep it alive. Keep it alive. There we go. Good enough. That's one. Ooh, let's go for it. That'll work. Just enough for a victory. I feel like I'm pushing my luck. And let's end it there for now. Nice 12 victory winning streak. And as always, I hope you liked that episode. And I will catch you guys and girls and everyone in the next one. Peace.